My name is Stuart Shallot. I'm an environmental epidemiologist. Uh, my research work focuses around exposures to children. And the work that I've done has examined how inhalation exposures occur on turf fields. And it's the thing that people think about crumb rubber as these large particles. Gee, kids can't breathe in that. The problem is these particles break down over time, and you get ultra-fine particles, particles that are inhalable and respirable. The distinction is respirable are ones that get deep down in the lung, and that's sort of an, a problem in terms of the respiratory tract. But even larger particles can be inhaled and uh, wind up getting trapped in the upper airways, but you swallow them and they go down through the GI tract. And if there are chemicals there, either uh, metals such as lead, uh, they get absorbed by the body. Uh, or if they're organic compounds, they can easily be absorbed through the gut. And so there are multiple routes of exposure to children from any of these compounds. And I guess one of the things that's important to understand is there's a cloud that develops on a field where children are playing. Even if one child is there, and we did some testing to validate this, there is, um, I talk about the pig pen effect, the character from Peanuts, pig pen, has this visible cloud. Well, it turns out children have an invisible cloud around them. Uh, this microenvironment is a result of stirring up uh, dust or particulate in, on the turf fields. And then more recent work, which we just published within the last uh, few months, shows that some of this material deposits on their clothing and then again gets resuspended again into their breathing zone. Just casual sampling of the fields massively underestimates the potential dose that a child could receive uh, while playing on these surfaces. And the small particles, many of which, the majority of which from the crumb rubber, are carbon black, anything that these carbon particles were exposed to in the manufacture of the tire or in their life gets absorbed out of these particles, and they can then get inhaled, and particularly when they're, um, the larger particles wind up going through the GI tract, the gastric pieces will release them, and it makes it highly likely that the material would, will be bioavailable and absorbed by the child. I think if, something, if, a, if a comprehensive study isn't mounted within the next five years, I think it's going to be almost impossible to find a group of unexposed kids in the United States.